Tonight, I'm explaining how I built what I like to call my beefy bunk bed. My goal in this design was to build a bunk bed that was beefy, sturdy, safe, nice looking, and strong enough for an adult to sleep on it. It's all built out of construction grade lumber, 1x4s, 2x4s, 2x6s, and 2x2s. I started by planing down all the 2x4s and 2x6s to get a nice surface finish. I then cut them to length and screwed the two mattress boxes together. Since the screws are so close to the end of the board, I would suggest pre-drilling the screw holes to avoid splitting. Also, if you're planning on building this yourself, the standard dimension for a twin size bed frame is 39 by 75. I then screw the 2x2s inside the two bed frames. This is what will ultimately support the mattresses, so I added some glue in this joint to strengthen it. The bed support rails were all cut from 2x4s. I notched out the end of each rail so the mattress would sit a little bit lower in the bed frame. For the structural posts of the bed, I like the ideas of J-Bates, where a 2x6 and 2x4 form the corner posts, which then support the bed frame. I cut off the rounded corners on the 2x and glued them together with the assistance of a few pocket screws. I also built in some redundancy to make sure the top bunk won't fall through the bottom bunk by adding some glued blocks under the corners of the bed. For this to fail, it would have to shear off five lag bolts in each corner, break a glue joint, and break four screws, and that's in each corner. The bed frame and handrails both have a 3 quarter inch wide dado going down each piece which will hold the rail slats and spacers. I needed a lot of spacers and a lot of slats. The rail next to the ladder needed to be extra strong to handle kids hanging on it so I glued that to a small post which then would mount to the bed frame. Glued dowels added the necessary strength. The ladder was also designed with redundancy so there's no chance that the rungs could come loose. Each step is sitting inside a dado with glued dowels to hold the whole thing together. The top of the ladder also has a notch so it sits on top of the frame. The ladder is installed at a 20 degree angle to the bed with each of the steps being parallel to the ground. The top bunk has a complete rail all around it and as an afterthought I decided to make a smaller removable rail so my 4 year old won't roll out of the bottom bunk either. I did a dry assembly without finish to make sure everything worked before disassembling it for finishing and in order to get it up the stairs and into the bedroom. The finish on this was one coat of spiced walnut stain with a gel polyurethane top coat. I had to come up with all kinds of creative ways to stack the pieces while they were drying since many of them had to be finished on all four sides. Make sure when you're doing any finishing between stains and top coats to knock down any of the dust nibs between coats with some synthetic steel wool. This makes your final finish much smoother. Final assembly took place in the bedroom and was about a two and a half hour process. The most time consuming part was assembling all the slats and spacers. The slats and spacers function very similar to a stair rail. You have your balusters and your spacers on the top and bottom that lock in that spacing. The spacers are pin nailed to the frame, but the slats are actually free floating. This way the whole bed can be taken apart if it needs to move rooms or houses.
And the best part was that the kids liked it, and now they want to go play in their beds. <laughs> My bunk bed growing up was squeaky, wobbly, and it always bugged me. This is my attempt at trying to fix everything wrong with that bed. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, subscribe below. And thanks for watching. <laughs>